All right, Pops, we are here at our local Chevy GMC dealership. And if I'm not mistaken, we're in the overflow lot, man. We are indeed. And and what's amazing is not too long ago, there was, well, a shortage of vehicles. And judging from what we see here on the overflow lot, well, there seems to be more vehicles than they know what to do with. And they've had to, had to rent additional space in order to store them off site. Not that far off site, just across the street, but. It still gives you some idea as to what we're seeing in the market today that is different than what we had seen maybe just 60, 90 days ago. And look at this, Pops. I pulled up GMC Sierra 1500 inventory because if I pan right over there, that's some of the vehicles that are sitting in the overflow lot. And we actually have, Dad, for the Pro Trim, 158 days supply. Wow. If I go back really quickly, the, uh, where was it, the SLE trim here? Got any guesses what the day's supply of the 1500 SLEs are? 75? Or like 338 days. days supply. Oh my goodness. And it's worth mentioning that we've been walking around looking at some of the window stickers. These are, it pains me to say it, they're not that expensive. Like, okay, well, let's they, go look at a work truck. Well, they, they fall well below what the average transaction prices are for uh, pickup trucks at the moment. Let's go so, look at this uh, one. Yeah, this is a uh, GMC Sierra. It is a 1500. And this one has a sticker price of $52,115. It's the Sierra 1500 Pro, steel wheels. And we Does were just have, looking at one of these pros and what, 100 and some odd days supply. Yeah. Does have a bed liner, built in bed liner protection. It is the. Uh, extended cab uh, crew cab so this is the entry level truck option and the reason i say it's i hate pains me to say but reasonably priced dead is because the average f series and we're headed to the ford yeah. dealership next sixty six thousand dollars so this is actually an entry level full-size pickup truck Absolutely. in today's market yes yes look at those wheels yeah <laughs> well they are steel wheels which would you know for a work truck is all you really need it's you know you don't need uh alloy wheels on a work truck do you think they've overpriced their inventory i mean what do you make of the fact that here walk over this way with me dad because if i'm not mistaken yeah yeah if i just look over the bed of this silverado right in front of us dad this 2500 yes. what yeah. do you see across the street i see uh pickup trucks yeah a poop ton yeah yeah lots of them and and there's you know obviously lots of them here there's four uh six eight 10, 12, 12 sitting on the overflow lot and just a, a, a massive amount of them across the street at the dealership. So they've got inventory. It's, it's different than what it was, like I say, 60, 90 days ago. GM was one of the few manufacturers who actually, if I'm not mistaken, they had, didn't they turn off one of their production plants for two Fort weeks? Fort Wayne, they, they turned off their uh, one of their truck plants in Fort Wayne for two weeks. It doesn't seem to have helped. <laughs> so they've actually, they're one of the few manufacturers that has taken legitimate action to constrict supply. Yes. However, again, plenty of supply. And, and even this, even this 2,500. Big HP, truck, man. Allison Big truck. Transmission, the 6.6. <laughs> wait, wait, one second. Wait, 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 wait. Put your head back in near the mirror. Yeah, the mirror the is mirror Johnson. <laughs> bigger than my head. And this, this truck is only $53,000. Which kind of makes you wonder, why is it sitting? I, you know, I don't Still too expensive. Do. Yeah, it's got the long bed. Don't, don't hurt. Stop, 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 oh, stop. Look Dad, at that. Dad, Man. Dad. I can do this. <laughs> I've got the skill set to still be able to do this. What are you worried about? <laughs> worried about a lot of things, man. Yeah, well. So I think this speaks oh, you know, it's equipped with OnStar. Everyone loves their OnStar. Yeah, whether you want it or not. All right, I think this speaks volumes, Dad, to these trucks are too expensive. <laughs> Dad, stop. <laughs> these trucks are too expensive. That's why the inventory is sitting. You know, we have a pending UAW strike. It's interesting to think GM hasn't really been. I mean, GM just got sued by the UAW for not, uh, you know, negotiating in good faith. Yes. Kind of makes you wonder if they want. I mean, in my opinion, it could make you wonder why they might want to strike. It's a good looking truck. Let's go check out the Ford dealership, see if Absolutely. they have an overflow lot. Yeah. 
All right, Pop, so we have left the Chevy dealership and now we are here. If you can't tell, there's a Ford behind you. We're at the Ford dealership. Dad. Snuck up on me. They have so many cars. Yes. This, the only dealership that seems eerily close to this so far is, was the Mercedes dealership we went to a while ago. Wow, there's a lot of cars. I've already pulled up some market day supply, but you noticed, what was the first car you noticed? Well, I noticed the number of Broncos they had. And then I found when I went down towards the end, they had three Mavericks down there. Um, one of them was $28,000, but with the $3,000 market adjustment, it was 31. It's a shame. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Broncos that I'm staring at right here. Uh, so maybe they're not selling quite as well as what they anticipated because we're standing next to the sold line. All the vehicles in this line are sold. Not to mention, Dad, we've got the outer rung is all F-150s. Yes. I already ran some of the numbers. This one right here is an XLT. Yes. The one down after it is a Platinum. Well over 100 days supply of both. And that Platinum, Dad, what do you think the selling price is on it? Uh, the, that's got to be what? Um, 85,000. Oh, he's high on it. He's high. It's only $79,000 oh, okay. okay. for an F-150 oh, pickup only. truck. Only. I like how you say that. Only. Let's go for a quick walk, Dad, because yeah. I also think they've probably got some electric vehicles here. If I'm not mistaken, those are going to be down this way into the left. But you're right. We got Broncos galore. Yeah. I was just, I couldn't get over the number of Broncos that they have. They've got a lot of everything. They, they do. And the, the F-150s. Yeah, they're all on the outside yes. there. You know, we were here, what was it, maybe a couple months ago? They did not have this many cars then. No, they did not. I'm curious how many Mach-E's they have. But Dad, actually, before we even get to the Mach-E's, we got yes. a, a bit of a walk anyway. The trend here between Chevy and Ford is still the same. Inventory is building up. You can see that inventory is building up. Um, they have, they, I'm guessing they have more inventory than they would like. Uh, and it's just what they have to deal with at the moment. I was talking to a Ford dealer dad, not in this area, down in the south. They're disinterested in taking some of their allocation for the first time in a long time because they have too many cars sitting around. Yes. Well, right. they've got plenty here. They, they even have a lot of Lincolns. Um, <laughs> and Lincolns, as we know, don't sell particularly well. Um, I haven't seen a single Mach-E though, dad. No. Maybe they don't have any Mach-E's. Maybe not. I'm starting to think maybe this dealer group did a dealer trade with someone. Uh, that would be the wise thing to do, because this is used over here. Yeah. So, although want... they might have some new cars still on the front. Let's take oh, a Oh, there's a Mach-E GT. Ah, we found the elusive Mach-E. Yeah. No, they don't have any electric vehicles here, Dad. Well, they're probably better off. And just to be clear that they're probably better off comment pertains to the fact that they don't really sell in this area. They are not selling well. Let's just leave it there. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. So going around pops. And another Bronco. Yeah, they do have plenty of Broncos. Yes. All right. So let's, let's flip around here real quick. So lots of trucks, lots of Broncos. Yes. Not a lot of mach -E's. I'm, I'm no. really buying into the fact that they probably did a dealer trade. Yeah. They did whatever they could to get rid of them. <laughs> to get yeah. rid of them. Yeah. Uh, and inventory building up. Yes. Yes. Right. So and, Chevy and, and Ford are in the same boat. And just shocked at the amount of Lincoln inventory they have because Lincoln doesn't sell very well at all. And to have as much as they have, that, that has to be a little bit on the scary side. 